Hello, my name is Robert Richter. I'm going to be showing you a most unusual technique for solving the Rubik's Cube. It's one I came up with myself. But not only is it unusual, but hopefully it's got the fewest number of rules to remember and also the fewest number of move sequences to remember. The side effect is that it might take a little longer to get solved than other techniques but I'm hoping you'll find this a method that you can remember easily and be able to get the cube solved. This solution to the Rubik's Cube is one where I challenged myself to see if I could come up with a solution that has the fewest rules to remember and the fewest move sequences to remember and still get the job done. It's one of the most bizarre solutions you'll probably ever see on the Rubik's Cube, but I actually think it's maybe useful for teaching someone how to do it. You certainly won't win any speed contests doing it this way. What I'm going to do is position my edges first and my corners second. To position my edges I find any edge that's out of position and then I do all four in this band right here. All four edges in that slice. So, I look at my top being green and its polar opposite being blue and any edges that don't have green or blue in there I recognize can go in here. So here's a red and yellow. Whatever color is on top I want facing me. Red, so that means yellow is off to my right. I put this piece to the opposite side, turn him up, catch my piece, turn him down. Now there, we do go as far as we can on this green and then we go to its polar opposite. Okay, here's a white and red. Since white is on top, white will be facing us. Red is off to our right, so we'll put this red off to our left. Catch our piece. Okay, here's a white and orange, so let's find white. Orange is off to our left, so we'll put this white and orange off to our right. Turn it up. Catch it. Okay. Looks like we don't have anything without green or its polar opposite blue up here. So let's turn to its polar opposite, blue. This has green. Here's one without green or blue. Yellow and orange. So yellow's on top, get yellow here. Orange is off to our left, so our yellow and orange being off to our right. Now once we get all four of these in place, then we try to see if there's anything we can do here, just by turning him and get as many in place. There's absolutely nothing we can do there. But here we have a green and red, so we'll just go ahead and place that one. green and red. Okay, now we choose us another edge that's bad. This one. And so we will do these four here. Okay. Our top is white. Its polar opposite on this cube is yellow. So anything without white or yellow we can start off with. If we get to where there's nothing we can do on either one of these two layers that we can put in place and these still aren't done, then part of the magic of how this works requires that we choose a piece, preferably one that isn't in place and we get as many in as possible. So here, if I have a choice, I don't want to choose white and red or white and orange. I could take, say, this white and green if I have to. And Whatever we choose, from then on, we have to make sure we make the same choice if we wind up having to knock another piece loose. Okay, here's one without white or yellow. It is blue and orange, so orange will be facing us. Blue's off to our right. This piece is off to our left, exactly opposite. Let's this up. Catch our piece, twist it down. 
Okay, at this point, we don't have any that aren't white or it's polar opposite yellow, so we twist this to get as many in place as possible. One, two, three are in place. Okay, so now let's go to its polar opposite yellow. Okay, we don't have anything we can do here. This is yellow, 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 white. So, choose one, preferably whatever color we choose. I'm going to choose white and blue that's over here. But if I wind up having to choose it more than once, I always choose the same piece. So, since I can't proceed any further, I just have to put something here so that I can get this one to the top so I can put him in the right place. Okay, now we have a blue and red. So blue will be facing us here. Red is off to our left, so our blue and red needs to go to our right. Up and catch him. Now we have a green and orange. Green's on top, it will face us. So our green and orange goes to the other side. Twist this up. Catch him. And that completes this set of four. So twist our top to get as most, many in place as possible. It looks like we'll get three. One, two, three. Okay, here's one that's out of place. Now this has a 50% chance of working. I can already tell it's not gonna work. And I'll, once I finish out this set of four, and I'll show you how to deal with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and be faithful to the solution. So, we don't have anything on red that we can put in place, because all the reds are correctly located. We don't have anything on its polar opposite because they are all correctly located. So we have to choose us a piece. I will choose orange and white, but whatever piece I choose I have to stick with it and not choose any others. So that will be the one that I put in place. Okay, that gives us a white and blue. We'll put blue in front of us. Since white is off to our right, our white and blue has to go to our left. Flip this up. Turn him twice and catch him. Okay, we have us a green and yellow. So, green will be facing us. Yellow's off to our right. So turn green and yellow, this edge off to our left. Okay, and then try to get as many as possible. We'll get two. Now, 50% of the time, <coughs> you'll get two. They'll be flipped right, but they'll be in the wrong place. Here we have white and yellow in the right place. But here we have blue, where green belongs, and green where blue belongs. 50% when you get to this point, it'll just be done. So we turn the offending face 90 degrees, and then this becomes our new layer where we do four on. Now as I said before, we try to use us one that is... Oh, we don't have to grab one because we can put this one in place. So this is white and orange. So white will be facing us. Orange is off to our right, so this white and orange will be off to our left. Twist them up twice. We take a minor setback whenever we have that happen 50% of the time.